Cool. Here we are with 3.02. Um, this one's about staying within your uh, confidence, right? Confidence. Confidence. Um, not incontinent. Yeah. Um, RBTs will follow the direction of their supervisors and inform them when they are asked to do something that goes beyond their scope of their certification. So this includes things that you should not be doing completely alone. FBAs, family training, writing treatment plans, um, providing supervision. Yeah, those are completely out of the scope of RBT. Um, 40 hours of behavioral training is not enough to run a full-blown experiment. Neither is a master's program, depending on your, the opinion of how you feel about yourself at times. But the bottom line is, is you don't run these by yourself. And if you're being demanded to do that, it is against the ethical code because it is out of your scope of practice. You may be involved with running the conditions of a functional behavior analysis. Or a, a BCBA might want your opinion during a family training about what you're seeing uh, with a client. Uh, as part of indirect and moving on um, into becoming a BCBA or a lead technician, you may be part of writing a treatment plan but you won't be submitting it by yourself. It is not something you were just told to do when you go off and they do it. That's completely unethical and against your code. And you have the right to say no.